evening. Tomorrow is June 1st. Tomorrow is the start of hurricane season, so no big surprise, I think, for most of us that we're starting to see some activity. Not only have we had the two named storms already preseason in May, Arthur and Bertha, but now we have an area that we're watching which might emerge over the southern bay of Campeche or southern Gulf of Mexico this week. And the National Hurricane Center is giving this a medium chance, about 50% chance, they say, of development in the next five days. So we'll be watching it this week. There are some things we're going to talk about with it. This, by the way, general area of low pressure is the remnants of tropical storm Amanda, which is not an Atlantic storm, but was in the eastern Pacific, kind of off the coast of Guatemala, and now is just remnants. It's just low pressure kind of left over from that system as that has drifted north. But you can see that it is expected to continue drifting north over Central America and southern Mexico and possibly get there into that area of warm water as we head into the next couple of days. So here are the big headlines on it. Low pressure in the Bay of Campeche this week will be watching medium chance to develop Develop, and it may continue drifting north, possibly into the central Gulf, maybe towards South Texas. And it looks like it might spread some rain into the Gulf Coast, along the Gulf Coast, maybe including our area next week. So it's a long way out. Notice models with the remnants of Amanda just kind of have a big mess, don't they? A couple of them bring it into the Gulf, a couple of them bring it farther south back into the eastern Pacific. But the general idea here is that this broad low pressure area will kind of drift to the north Monday through Wednesday, we'll say. After that, notice it's a little bit hard to track, but you can kind of see some low pressure kind of taking shape. This is the GFS model I'm showing you, by the way. Of course, models differ in what's going to happen, but it looks like next weekend it could drift north and again might take this kind of curve, possibly because of some high pressure out here to the northeast and kind of stay over to the west of us. As you know, that would plant us on the side that might get some rain. So models are showing possibly this weekend, but maybe even especially Monday and Tuesday, a whole week from now, we could get some rain associated with, with this and it's still really early. So just a few things to note with this, there's going to be slow development if this does develop. So we do have time. We have this whole week to watch what's going to happen with this thing. We will not have any effects here from it for at least a week. Again, possibly Saturday and Sunday, but more likely a whole week from tomorrow is when we might see some rain associated with it. And again, this is not very unusual as we are going to be in early June in this part um, of early hurricane season, official hurricane season. So something we will track really closely and we will certainly keep you updated. Again, it looks like it might bring us some rain a whole week from now, but until then, we have more of kind of a typical setup. Today, 89 degrees at this point. Our high was 90 at the airport. We did have some cloud cover streaming in from the south and southwest which actually kept our temperatures from soaring into the 90s and our live radar because of high pressure we've been talking about really has not been active for land areas, although there have been some showers off the coast of kind of the central part of the uh, Louisiana coastline. Our planner for tonight brings our temperatures eventually through the 80s and by 11 p.m. to about 80 degrees lows overnight, upper 60s north. 70s south of the lake and we'll say partly cloudy, just kind of a quiet night. And then tomorrow I have highs again around 90 or 91. Tomorrow will be a continuation really of what we saw today. Then we get to Tuesday and all the way through Friday and we continue with pretty regular sort of rain chances, mainly those afternoon showers and storms. Few of them kind of spotty most days, maybe a little more moisture moving in from the west on Wednesday to enhance the rain chance a bit. So certainly just kind of the typical sort of June summer setup and then we will increase the rain chance to about 50% right now, we'll say for Saturday and Sunday. But of course, that will depend on the evolution of whatever happens happens in the Gulf. Needless to say, we're way out ahead of the system and we will be watching it really closely and getting you many updates as we head through the week.